Yes. I have a uh, story to tell, Ellis. Okay. But it requires me getting to the bit on my messenger app where you get your message... Facebook messages. Yeah, requests. Okay. How do you get there? Well, John's now fiddling with his phone, so I'm going to use this opportunity whilst he finds this message to ask Dave... Uh, what sort of time he had in Glasgow because he was uh, watching the uh, Man City Celtic game in the Champions League on was it Wednesday night? It was. I had a wonderful time. Oh, it's, it's a good city. Oh, it's a great place, Glasgow. Mm. It's a great place for to go out. I went uh, to watch Wales play Scotland at Hampden Park a few years ago, and it's an absolutely belting town for a yeah. little bit of mischief, if you know what I mean. David. I went from Weatherspoons to Walkabout. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> so it was a real, it was a cultural exchange. You really got to see the best of what Scotland has to offer. Uh, no, uh, but you know, when you're there watching a football game, you're never going to see the, the culture no. of a city. You're not, you're not going to go, offers. you're not going to go to the gal the best art gallery in the town, are you? No, or the worst, or any of them, or any? No. Okay. You, but you've got a history of going to nice British cities and going to the absolute worst places, I imagine, of yes. all of you, Dave. Yes, classic. <laughs> Dave. So, <laughs> thanks for that very good bit of chat there, guys. Thanks. Thanks for covering. So, I was on the train th this morning and I received a... You know, on Facebook, you get... When people you aren't friends with message you, you get a message request and you have yes. to sort of approve it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm not really sure about the, all this algorithm and stuff. And usually it's just people sort of... Uh, it's sort of weird people with Thai names that you're not sure whether they exist or not. That kind of vibe. Okay. Um, so, anyway, I've got one from uh, someone... And he says, Hi, John. Hope you're well. So it's obviously, it's me. It's not like a spam thing. Yeah, good start. Hi, John. Hope you're well. Sorry for the random message. I'm part of the casting team. Oh, oh well, I should have gone to your agent, but never mind. <laughs> On this year's Take Me Out. <laughs> yes, please. Yes. We're currently auditioning potential boys for the show. Oh. And I was wondering if you'd be interested in applying, if you're single. If so, let me know, and I can give you some more info. Thanks very much. I would absolutely <laughs> love it for you to go on to him. Dave and Vin and I could do the, um, you know, the, there's the yes. reference video yeah. where the three of us would be in a nightclub saying, yeah, the thing with John, I mean, he's a really great boyfriend once you z zone into his vibe. But so, uh, there's, I looked, a lot of, there's a lot of rough to go with that smooth. I looked up Take Me Out, because I have to admit... It's I, my favourite programme. <laughs> is it really? It's, it's yeah. brilliant. Izzy and I, it is appointment television in our You're house. You're joking. Let the chow see the main. <laughs> oh, what are I'd you talking rather about? rather shoot myself in the <laughs> skull. Um, anyway, but I, so I looked up Take Me Out to think... I mean, firstly, you're thinking, mate, do your research. You obviously... It's, yeah. it's clear that I'm a... Co you can... You know, I'm, I'm pretty... Yeah, it's, you should know that I've got a girlfriend. If you haven't seen Take Me Out, it's 30, women, 30 single women well, <laughs> get to choose if they want to go on a date with a single man. Yeah. It's, I mean, it sounds like the end of the world to me. But, so I looked best. up... It is proof, if proof were needed, that the regional accent is still hilarious. Well, <laughs> well listen, to, listen to this. So I looked on the Wikipedia page for yeah. Take Me Out. I couldn't go out with anyone who's got kneecaps like that. <laughs> And he looks like he pushes fish fingers around on plate. So it's been described, this is in the critical reception section, um, it's been described as desperate moron lift disco. <laughs> the I end that. of feminism. I love the love lift. I would come down the love lift to the step to and send theme. Yes, in a dress that suit you. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh. Single man, reveal yourself. <laughs> But can, apparently, so what happens is the the men come out and they have to sort of say their name. And you've what got to they dance do. as well. You've got to come down in the song of your choice. What would and then that you be? Have, then you have to dance. Well, I'd come out as you're in the love lift. I'd come out to something like the Blue Mask by Lou Reed. Uh. Yeah, well, you'd have to dance to the Blue Mask by Lou Reed, and then all the girls have a look at you, and then they judge you on your dancing, and then you go and stand on the plinth next to Paddy McGuinness. <laughs> <laughs> Which you have to describe yourself. Yeah. No, what happens? It's it's all done on looks. So what happens is you've done your little dance to. Show show, you know, that you're a mover to, to Lou Reed, and then you go and stand on the plinth, and then, and then Paddy McGuinness says, 
no likey, no lighty. And if they don't want to go on a date with you, they turn their lights Based off. Based entirely on my appearance. Yeah, and he goes, but when they turn their light off, it makes a noise. So I can imagine John stood there, everyone's cheering. No, uh, uh, um, what's he say? What's Paddy McGuinness actually say at that point? I can't remember. Uh, well, no likey, no lighty. Yeah, and then they just go, pew, 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 as they're all turning off. The other thing is they do not like men with a degree on that programme, I have noticed. <laughs> Hi, my name's Paul. Uh, I'm studying for a PhD in architecture at Oxford University. I'm really passionate about my subject. <laughs> boo, 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 boo. But what I imagine if I went on, it would be so funny. And I said that three they, men from my hometown have been on it. Do you have to describe yourself? Yeah. So you just you, you just. Uh, do you think I, they'd respond well to a man who feels trapped in a self-built <laughs> prison of shame, <laughs> who can only sleep at night by imagining he's the lone survivor of a, a nuclear attack? <laughs> Oh, there was a guy, there was a guy from Kumar then. Hello, my name's Will and I'm from Clampim Saint. Ladies, you're looking lovely. Boo, 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 <laughs> boo, 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 boo. And at the end, you need to uh, perform your special skill. What would that be? So what would be your Climbing special skill? Climbing out of a shame well. <laughs> or not. <laughs> yeah. Just staying. to climb out of a shame well. <laughs> it's a special skill on ITV Wed on a Saturday night. It would just be me watching Great British Menu whilst uh, drinking bottles of ale. It's a special <laughs> skill. So, oh, crying. I can cry on demand at Freddie Mercury videos. <laughs> Should I go go on in my Freddie Mercury jacket? Yes, crying. yes, yes. Just screaming and crying. Yeah. <laughs> Would <laughs> imagine if you went on screaming and crying with the oh. word shame written on your forehead. <laughs> Paddy McGuinness. What he'd would he make of that? Well, he'd have to he keep it. Go, he'd have to keep it ticking over. All right, all right. So you feel shame? We've established that. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Ladies, but what do ladies think of shame? <laughs> right, um, Shads from from, Bir <laughs> Shads. from Birmingham. What do you think? Oh, he's a bit, he's he's so full of doubt and regret. He's always he's he's so whimsical about his shame. Boo. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> do so. Is it sort of exploitative of the people on it? Also, this isn't a request for celebrity take me out. By the way, <laughs> this is for the normal one. Why have they come to you? I've no idea. <laughs> because he knows my name, yeah. so he must know that I'm a comic. So often... therefore, if he's not familiar with my work, which is mainly shame-based, he should know that I am unsuitable and have got a high-profile, considerably richer girl. You're tall. The girl, the girls was like the tall boys on Take Me Out. Well, I've recently shrunk by a quarter of an inch. Well, I, I never had that quarter of an inch in the first place. I would do very badly on Take Me Out. I think. I think you'd do well because you dress yeah. smart. You dress like the sort of people that they no, would like. No, too short, I and I can't dance in a lift. That's really? my problem. <laughs> I don't. Know, I'd. I, I, the, the, the boys who always come down to guitar music always do very badly. I'd have to come down to Usher or something, and I have to, and I'd have to grind. And my Imagine trainers aren't box fresh. In the, so is the lift see through? Yeah, the love lift is Imagine if you were just, like, head... <laughs> smashing your head box. against the side of the lift and you just came out with blood all down your face, <laughs> screaming and crying. Oh, single man, region. reveal yourself! <laughs> Ellis James and John Robbins. Radio X.